All right, guys, I got another one for you. We're out here in a tributary of the St. John's River, one of the lakes along St. John's River. We're gonna go out and try to catch some specks. Uh, in Florida, we call them specks. Everywhere else, y'all call them crappie. Or in Louisiana, Texas, they say sockele. But uh, I am not a skilled speck fisherman. I have an idea of something that's gonna work. We're just in my bay boat. We're gonna go give it a shot. If you see this video, it worked. This is what I'm doing here. I got a little tiny jig head. I think that's, oh, I don't know. Like the smallest ones they make, honestly, because they're the only ones I have in my box that aren't rusty. And then I'm putting two or three little split shots about a foot ahead of it. And then I'm tipping these with minners. Putting a fourth rod out now. We got, we got three, I'm gonna go four. I got two more. Get crazy with it, go five and six. I don't know. There's something on here. Yeah, what do I do? <laughs> Whatever this is, it's big. Like an alligator? Do you like, have that? Like um, a stick? Net? Please? Yeah, oh I'm my god, it's a huge crappie. Will you please get the net? I'm getting the net. That thing is monstrous, babe. I'm gonna walk it to you. I'm gonna walk it to you. Oh my God! <laughs> Holy cow! Don't Look at it. this! <laughs> Look at that thing! I've been trying to catch a crappie on my own for so long. It's really funny. Babe, this is a oh. ginormous one though. I mean, look at this thing. Look, if, if you're a crappie fisherman, that is a huge one. Don't lose him. Oh, <laughs> I felt it. Like I literally wasn't paying attention and I'm like, this isn't working. I don't know what I'm doing. And I felt it go thump. Look at that thing. I'm so happy. Trophy, trophy crappie. Oh, you know what we eat for dinner? Well, now Sandwiches. we got to stay out here for like nine hours. Oh my gosh, I knew that was going to happen. Take a picture of this for me. I got to okay. start bragging to people. <laughs> Already? <laughs> this thing is monstrous. <laughs> my turn. I want one. Look at that. that thing. Babe, like, that's like a trophy one. That's like one you get like. Should we get it mounted? Is the thing still on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I... I'm a mediocre saltwater fisherman. You guys seen my videos. I, I go a lot, I get lucky, but I've been trying to figure out how to catch specks. And what we're doing out here is just like long line trolling, I guess, um, in an area where I knew they would be. And I was really starting to doubt if it was even <laughs> working. Got him. Got him. All right. Crystal's up. Crystal's on one here. Is that on the pink again? I got the net. Here we go. Oh, he's running. Nice. Got him? Yeah. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> That's only number one. two for the day, so. <laughs> How y'all doing? One. <laughs> Look at that. It's my first one. Good job, babe. Where are we putting them? In the live well here. Oh, 
It should have slowed us down. Well, the other boat's doing a lot better than us, so like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. He said to go that way. Yeah. Oh, now we got two, and I'm even more excited. I couldn't be that excited because there's a boat right next to us and wanted to realize I'm a goofball. But we've gone crazy. Now we've got three, four, five. We got six rods going now. <laughs> and that other boat told us to go a little deeper, so we're trying that. We'll see. If we get one more of these things, we have a nice little fish rod. And Crystal here's favorite fish to eat is freshwater fish. She loves it. She's like, go get me some of them specks. So that's what we're gonna do. A good one on. He's fighting. He's fighting. He's fighting. Oh, that's a good one. Nice. We got it. That's another big, big speck. Look at this thing, y'all. I mean, those are some quality fish right there. Here you go, bring them right to the net. Good job. Oh, I, I know. Sorry. It's all, that's a huge one though, babe. <laughs> she, so what was the deal? I was just watching it and then I picked it up and then I said, fish on. I literally <laughs> said, if we go over that spot, we'll catch one. But Is that the, it? no, the deal was she's like she's cold and she's like, well, just one more. One more fish. And I, you know me, I want to stay out here. Fish. It's freezing. The high's like sixty. It's and not it's that windy. cold. Here, pick them up. Hold on. Okay. It's all tangled. Yeah. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> nice yeah. fish. Look at me. Good job, babe. That's Thank four for the day. And I mean, that's still. A stud speck right there. He's hooked real good, so I can't get this one out of here. Here, you want me to do it? Switch with me. We're not even quite to the mark yet. As you can see, the sun's setting there. Crystal's a little chilly. It's freezing. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it ain't super warm out here, but uh, we got four. I'm stoked on that. Like I said, this is my first time catching specs on my own. Now I've gone and caught them uh, with Gabe and I've gone and caught them. I hired a guide one time a couple years ago and caught a bunch. But this is the first time I've successfully caught them on my own. So I'm super stoked on that. And four feels like 40 to me. But I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the week trying to catch 40. We'll see you guys back at the house for a little fried fish. So it's the next day. I couldn't resist it. Crystal had to go to work today and I'm still home from the tug. I had to come out here and go spec fishing, but it's a very different day. The wind's real light and it's just raining a little bit when we got a big front coming, but uh, it's beautiful out here on this lake. A little bit of sun, a little bit of rain. No place I'd rather be right now, but I think I got six in the live well right now i'm gonna uh flip the camera around and go show you guys uh, let's see one two 
three, four, five, six. Shaping up to be another good little day. I know a lot of you guys, you know, if you're not double digits, it wasn't a good day, but I'm super stoked on this. I can't wait for the fish fry tonight. I just did it again. I caught a fish that's every bit of two pounds. <laughs> well, he's close. That's a real good fish right there. I don't even have the GoPros with me, but uh, this lake has got some giants on it. Super stoked. Fish number seven. So, two days of fishing, y'all. But we have some absolute trophies right here. This is the big fish from the first day. And then today, I caught two that were nearly as big. Those fish are over two pounds. This one went two, four. I don't have a scale, but I'd bet money both these fish are over two pounds. We'll do the old five gallon bucket challenge. <clears throat> don't roll. <laughs> of course, if the camera's on, they want to roll, but you know, them are some big old crappie right there because they're as big as a five gallon bucket. And that one from yesterday, it's just absolutely monstrous. Um, I have my new toad fish fillet knife. I wanted to talk about this. If you guys didn't like, I like these folding toad fish fillet knives. But if for some reason you didn't like it, they just came out with a fixed blade. Comes with a sheath, super sharp. They, this is a seven inch. They've got an eight inch and a six inch. Um, so this is right out of the box. We're gonna give it a shot here. Caught this fish just a few hours ago and they're just super beautiful. Like if you've never seen one in person, the colors that come off them things are wild. But they've got a good little bit of head meat Come in here, get up under them scales, make you your first cut. And <clears throat> I'm no pro at crappie, but there's a little bit of a trick to them. Come in, come down the backbone like so, out. And then you gotta come up and over the ribs on these fish. And they've got a pretty big rib cage, but there's a little bit of meat on the other side that you wanna try to get, so. This knife is super, super sharp. You know it's sharp. I was almost going through the bones there. It's usually when you get a super sharp knife and you're not used to it. Come down, work down a skeleton. Like so. I haven't done one of these in a while. Get that little bit and then come up and over these big rib cage that they got like so, and then you get that last little bit of meat right there. And like I said, that's the little bit of meat I'm trying to save there on that thing. And just like that. And again, I'm pulling with the skin, not pushing with the knife. Yeah, pretty filet right there. Take upstairs, release them in some grease. I'm gonna fry this fish right now, but no fish fry to me is complete without a good dipping sauce. And I'm gonna make what Bianca refers to as the special Ian sauce. It's actually Ramalad. But <laughs> anyways, start with some good mayo. There's only one good mayo in the world, it's Duke's. Uh, go ahead. I do like enough for one fish fry. I'm gonna do like, you know. Mm, that much. Well, you know, we could fry, we fry a lot of fish. That's and then, oh no, I'm not ready. I didn't take this thing off. It's fine. <laughs> it's not though. Look. The one time I don't, muscles. I'm using them. <laughs> it's like they know, they know that I'm trying to make a video and they make it really, really, really hard to get those things off. But Dijon mustard, and you just gray want, poupon. you want gray poupon. Have the commercial go with the guy in the limo. I don't know. You stick your pinky out when you eat this stuff. But just a little, just a little touch. 
Then some spice, spicy brown. Mm. This is the Piggly Wiggly brand. Very high end stuff. <laughs> About the same amount. <clears throat> Paprika. And that's going to give this a really good color. So. It's not for flavor. I mean, it gives it some flavor, but it like, gives it a nice color oh. too. So I, you know, I don't skimp on that. Onion. <laughs> Onion powder, like that much. And then garlic powder. I know this garlic's rock Jeez. solid in there right now. So you gotta beat it up a little bit. Good bit of garlic powder in there. Because mm -hmm. you know, it's always good. Black pepper, a little pinch. And then salt, pinch. And then Worcestershire, wash your sister, W sauce, couple shakes Shake of that. Shake. I like that Shake stuff a lot. Shake. A good Louisiana hot sauce. I like crystal. I like crystal too. Yeah, with the C though. Who's that? All the people that comment, mm. Crystal's name spelled with a K, just so you know. For now on, <laughs> you can you can say Crystal with a K um. in the comment section. And then a squeeze of lemon or lime. I like limes better than lemons. Um, mm. So nice squeeze of that. That was a good juicy one too. Marlon, do you want some? Am I the only one that gets kind of excited when they get a juicy lime? It depends Maybe. what you're using it for. <laughs> and then, I feel like I just, I forgot okay. something. I just forgot a some, there's something. What? I'm gonna think of it in a second, I don't know. No, I think that sounds delicious the way it is. Mix, 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 mix. Just like that. If you wanted to be bougie, you could put some capers in here. No. Sometimes I put um, dill pickle relish, but that's basic uh, special Ian sauce. It's good to go ahead and make it ahead of time. It'll be, it's tangy. That's what's good about it. But make it ahead of time and stick it in the fridge while you're frying your fish, which is what I'm about to do. Mullet wouldn't come. Mullet <laughs> wouldn't like it. Not for dogs. Mullet, you wouldn't like it. I promise you, Bob. <laughs> Not for dogs. McGee's <laughs> chunky Ufi. He's so cute, though. Oh, I know, I know exactly. See, I remember now. <laughs> I know what I gotta put in there. What? Some Cajun seasoning. Oh. You yeah. guys already know I like the K Fred. It's pretty, it's spicier to me than like an average Cajun seasoning, and it doesn't have a lot of salt in it. So it works out real well. So I got something new and cool. Uh -oh. Let's try that again. These <laughs> are the new toadfish shears. I just got them in the mail. I'm super excited about them. First thing I'm going to cut is the top of this bag of fish fry, like butter. But seriously, I think these things would cut through sheet metal. Um, you already know I like the house autry. It has, to me, it has a good amount of cornmeal in it, but not too much where, whatever. I just, it's my favorite. So I put that in a bag. And then what I do is for my binder, a lot of people use mustard or hot sauce or something like that. I like just citrus juice, lime juice. I'm gonna take that lime and squeeze it all over this fish. Um, now, it will start to want to cook on your fish a little bit. So you can't like do this ahead of time and then walk away for 45 minutes. Uh, go ahead and be ready to cook when you do it. Do a little bit more on there. Just like so. Those are all juicy limes tonight, I like it. <laughs> Mix that around. Is that on. the uh, Dirty Dixie special? Limes. I don't know, but I, I, oh no, turn that off. What are these people doing? I don't know. Phone call. Just like so. They don't know. I'm, don't these people know I'm trying to make a YouTube video? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually just trying to make dinner right now. I had to put a shirt on just so I could film, not uh, make it uncomfortable for everybody. But now that I've tossed that around, I'm just going to go. You guys know how to fry fish. I don't have to tell most of you this couple pieces at a time. 
And what I like to do is go ahead and get the batter on all of my fish and then start frying it. Because if I try to do it um, like in batches, I, I get it gets too, uh, too out of hand for me. Plus, I think the fish fry, when you do it ahead of time, has a minute to kind of stick on the fish. Peanut oil jacuzzi. And over here, quiet dogs. Um, it's very specific. They want a half a cup plus three tablespoons. <laughs> like, I feel like that's two thirds cup, but. <laughs> I just love how you are going back and forth instead of just bringing the bowl to the sink. Listen. <laughs> It's you do, fine. Do you not question a master at work? The trick, these these house off tree hush puppies are super good. But the trick is to take some of these diced jalapenos like that. Put them bad boys in there. That's a lot. That's not a lot. It's gonna be spicy. Then you mix it up and let it sit for a couple minutes or until the fish fry is done. I had a long day back at school. Teaching the kindergartners. You doing this? This is tester oh, piece. Is. Okay. How oh, do you know? Oh, oh, hot. <laughs> oh good one. <clears throat> Some delicious hush puppies with the jalapeno. I'm ready to sit down and eat them, starve them. Me too. Here we go. Sauce, hush puppies. Little hungry dog. Loud puppies. <laughs> but I like to do a little squeeze of lime on top of mine and take that fish right there, dip it in that sauce. Good. That don't get no better. Not out of the fresh water. It's very good. Um, but I had a blast catching these fish. And like I said, the first time I was ever really successful on my own catching specs. Um, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one. And everybody that likes, comments, subscribes, puts a positive comment. Thank you guys so much. It means the world to us. See you on the next one.